Miriam, welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Uh, I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you, if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power, but there is a limit to how far that can go. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right. I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? What are you looking to buy? What are you looking to sell? What are you looking to sell? Is this right? Then we have a deal. What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Thank you. Is this when we have is this right? Many thanks. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time, I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. <gasps> Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Pho to put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be you there! It was awful. Those monsters came out of nowhere. We ran for dear life! Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. Those devils have to pay! Those murderers! You if it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that wronged us. I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. I'll do it. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help my husband rest in peace! Kill that murderer dead!
Have you learned anything? Here's what I... Good work. Here's your reward. Got any targets? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help Dr. Simon rest in peace. Kill those murderers dead! I'm glad me fields are rid of those monsters. But they're in a terrible state. I'll need to replant everything. What will you grow? Well, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm Harry. Mary. Tell me, Miriam, do you have anything I might be able to... Because if you let me do the farming, I'll give you your share of the harvest, and you won't even have to lift a finger. Oh, all right. I'll keep an eye out. Good. I'll be waiting in the fields. Can you plant this? Sure, I'll get to work. What a bloodbath. We were slaughtered. But you're not like us. You're strong. I saw you fighting. Oh, it was more luck than skill. Oh, humble too. My name is Abigail. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, might I ask you a favor? I want to give the dead a proper burial. Of course. But, but that's not going to be possible for some. In the very least, though, I'd like to bury some keepsake for each of them. A Valkyrie like you should have no trouble finding such things. Can I count on you? I'll see that you're rewarded. I'd be happy to do it. Thank you. Then, let me show you. Thank you. How are you, Mir- Here's what you asked for. This is it. That's one more villager we can lay to rest. Here's your reward. This is the keeps- Right. Thank you. How are you? Here's what you asked for. This is it. This is the- Right. Thank Hi, me. So, what'll it be? Johannes. It started when the interests of the rich shifted away from the spiritual and esoteric in favor of more material investment. The alchemists' research was expensive. The guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons. So they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of their spirituality. But people don't change that easily. So the alchemists took a more drastic measure. You mean us? The Shardbinders? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But at least you have the facts of it. It's all right. Thank you for telling me.
Johannes. That fool of an apprentice should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. Don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Well, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeebel has the book. What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. <laughs> Alfred, how are you still alive? <sighs> what were you thinking of coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? Book? The Liber Logiath? Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. <laughs> you know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. Otherwise, you will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Liebe Logaeth? It's... It's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago. And the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power. But we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logaeth. He said Chibel had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. No, let's focus on Jeebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say. Oh. <laughs> 